Hello everyone. Uh, hope all of you are doing well and uh, the paper went well. I'll be doing a quick, quick, quick discussion of the solutions of the MCQs for costing paper. MCQs, if you ask me, uh, by and large, if you check the questions and all, the, they were doable. There was one small, uh, you know, technical error in the question. We should have taken uh, slightly more time, but you know, without wasting much of time. First one was to do with the what is the production requirement, what is the raw material requirement, and you know related aspects. So here, what we had to do was we had to calculate what is the total production, right? After calculating production, you need to you know compute what is the raw material uh, consumption requirement, then go to the purchase requirement. So first MCU, first option is uh, four lakh eighteen thousand. That is the quantity to, to be purchased. I've already solved it, so you can trust the solutions are correct. Uh, if you feel that solutions are you know not matching or you have a different solution, you can put in the comment and I'll be more than happy to address them to you. Cost of Q, uh, you know, comes out to six lakhs six thousand based on the working that you can see on the screen, right? Then the next was a budgeted variable production cost. Budgeted variable uh, production cost. The third one per unit is how much? So if you look at budgeted variable production cost, if we calculate now, how do we calculate this? When you calculate budgeted uh, variable production cost. For those of you who want a quick thing, total variable cost of raw material, uh, you know, uh, you can see the uh, labor cost and then overhead. Labor was basically 50 divided by 60 minutes multiplied by 10. That would have given you the number. Okay. So that works out to, if you can see here, it works out to 36.33. I think uh, most of you would have got the same answer as 36.33. So this is the number. Then what is the budgeted net income for the year? Now here there is a small you know technical error I would say in the question because uh, if you look at the solution not the question as such. Now if you sorry if you see the question when you have to calculate the you know uh, net income this fixed cost that has been spent that has been incurred the fixed cost that has been incurred if you can see on the screen the three lakhs of fixed cost that has been incurred that three lakhs of fixed cost should be apportioned okay to the closing stock now if you check the solution you will not find a corresponding answer if you try to you know allocate the three lakhs of fixed cost to finished goods so they have not done absorption what they have done is the assumption if i look at the answer maybe if you have got a different answer you can uh, let me know what they have done is entire three lakhs of fixed cost has been knocked out from the current period expenditure that should not be the case or maybe you know uh, I've, I've also done it in a hurry bury so that would that I would have missed out so I get an answer of 1041 if I've got a different number you can uh, you know let me know and as far as this is concerned production units is uh, one like three thousand this was a straightforward simple one so start with this and complete the others now in this question question number six on joint product joint costing here they have said a portion's joint cost on the basis of NRV after further processing now what is NRV after further processing we just have the selling price okay there are no other costs given there are no other costs given so it should be just selling price but if you allocate it on the base of selling price you will not get the correct answer so what we have to do is we have to do a reverse calculation and assume assume that it is done on the you know net margin basis when you reverse calculate so basically what you have to do is the selling price minus cost whatever what this cost is basically 100 uh, you know if 25 percent is the profit you can get the cost number then you subtract the separate cost that is incurred you get the joint cost and then you calculate per unit basis so that is how i got an answer of six for this particular question all right then this one was a very uh, simple question for calculation purpose 150 and 150 all of you would have got it uh, you know 90 minutes of normal and abnormal time okay so there was uh, nothing to be done Fixed overhead volume variance, uh, generally standard costing questions are tricky and difficult. This was again a straightforward question, 15,600 is the answer. This was again a direct question. If you know the formula, you can get to the answer. I think this is 2.5 per unit. If I'm not wrong, let's just make cross check. Yes, there is 2.5 per unit. Then even here, the variable overhead uh, efficiency variance is 15,000 unit and the total difference is 1500 so it works out to 10 per hour that is also straightforward i'm saying uh, standard costing would have been a savior and mcq would have been a savior for you then this one direct question straightforward question uh, nothing complicated just that it required more calculations okay it required more more calculations so all of you would have done it so full cost per unit under traditional absorption costing method works out to 15.44 okay uh, all of you would have got that number itself then 
active what is the cost driver rate for machine setup cost so you have machine setup cost of 49000 production runs so take the total production runs here and divide it by the production run you will get the number which is working out to 280 then the next one the amount of allocated overheads attributable to machine running hours is working out to 15360 so here you have to take total cost here and machine machine running hours based on per unit calculation you have to do okay so you will get 33400 and then you can get to the answer then total cost of product z as per activity based costing method so you will take the you know, raw material and labor cost and other cost directly attributable and then you have to total up all the overheads no not total up activity based means each this was under which method activity based costing so for each basis you will allocate based on the uh, resource consumption and the number what I got was uh, 294.905 and lastly uh, overhead absorption rate per hour as per traditional absorption costing that is where you have to do the total then find out what is the total machine hours and then do the allocation that I got 29.6 okay uh, solved it as soon as I could uh, solve it if you have any difference in uh, opinion you can uh, definitely you know uh, put it out in the comment I hope all of you have uh, got a good marks from the mcq part and which will help you to get uh, good marks in the overall subject uh, all the best for your uh, uh, audit paper happening tomorrow uh, no they have to tomorrow not tomorrow and uh, you know prepare well practice a lot they are also target to score as much as possible in uh, mcq